They were meant for baseball fans at the Diamondbacks game. But it seemed fitting on this night to have fireworks lighting the skies over the Court Tower project. Here we are tonight with our uh, first really big concrete pour, so we're very excited. More than 175 men and women worked through the night, laying the concrete foundation for the tower of the county's new court building. You see several months of really good work effort in the planning all coming together tonight. The mat foundation is eight feet thick. It requires 750,000 pounds of rebar enforcement and more than 5,000 cubic yards of concrete. If we were to uh, use this concrete for a sidewalk, it would extend approximately 19 miles. Crews began pumping concrete into the mat around 9 o'clock. We're doing it this night because the temperatures are cooler and also there's less traffic to contend with in the contiguous area around the project site. Of course, the project generated plenty of traffic on its own. The concrete's coming from three different batch plants, two in Mesa and one in uh, West Phoenix. There's 95 trucks that are repeating. Um, each one makes a trip about every hour and 15 to 20 minutes. Typical ACI specs give you 90 minutes from the time the concrete's batched to the time it's placed. That's because hydration, the process that makes concrete hard, starts as soon as the water is mixed with the cement. If concrete isn't placed in its forms within that 90 minute window, its strength could be compromised. Not only is it a 90 minute time frame, but the concrete has to be under 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And in order to accomplish that in the summertime, we, have, we use chilled water um, to, to batch the concrete. We'll wa use water that's in the mid 40s. There were technicians on site to sample the concrete every 100 cubic yards or so. They'll do compression tests on the samples once they've cured to make sure the concrete meets its required strength. If you have uh, any kind of failure, then the whole building could possibly come down. And so it's, pretty, it's a big deal to make sure that all the testing is done correctly. Some critics argue that the county shouldn't build the court towers during a recession. But this foundation pour alone is improving the local economy. We'll have about $107 million worth of local labor on this project. Um, a lot of local materials. Materials that come at a great value right now. The market as a whole in the concrete ready mix business is probably only running at 35 percent of what it was even two years ago and uh, the natural supply and demand has driven price down. Crews delivered, pumped and poured concrete for nearly nine hours before the tower's mat foundation was complete. Their hard work signifies a major step in the court tower project. The MAD Foundation really acts as the anchor, if you will, for this building. It, it'll be neat to see the building actually coming out of the ground and taking shape. 